1887, on hills barren and forlorn, only 12 years shy of when my grandpa was born. In northeastern Oregon, by way of Idaho, where the waters of the Sneak River flow. Just upstream from a prison now, but way back then, the gold rush drew people to the hills again. After 30 years of statehood for Oregon, back when the West was one. People came with companies, they came with little bands to mine for gold in the Western lands. People came from east and west, from New York and Chicago. They came from overseas and from San Francisco to the home of the Nez Perce before they were hunted down to a place they called Hell's Canyon, far from any town. They traveled out to eastern Oregon back when the west was one. Some folks came to work mines, others came to trade in mining gear or brothels or whatever work that paid. Some folks were just passing through, others came to stay, such as some of those in the canyon in the month of May. They planned their ambush, the gunshots rang, pioneers all, the Bruce Evans gang, there in the lands of Oregon. Back when the West was one. Miners died shot in the back, bludgeoned in the head. In a very short order, they were all dead. The gang moved upriver, found more miners unaware, set up an ambush, did the same thing there. How many Chinese miners slaughtered? No one knows for sure, although the total is at least 34. Bodies floating down the river in Oregon, back when the West was one. After all the killing, after some of them confessed there was a trial, and the justice of the West taught everyone watching what the exclusion laws meant when a jury of their peers found the killers innocent. And in Enterprise today, you'll find an arch for the pioneers to the memory of a murderer who once lived here. Yeah, welcome to Oregon in 2021. Here, where the West was one. Here, where the West was.